Hello dear students, this is Mr. Rajendra Tadakhe, Assistant Professor in the First Year Engineering Department at Pune Institute of Computer Technology Pune and I am the course instructor for the Systems in Mechanical Engineering. In the previous lecture, we have gone through the classification of different type of the heat engines and in today's lecture, we are starting our discussion with what are the different types of the elements we are having in the IC engine and what are the different terms associated with the IC engine. So to understand the basic terms associated with the reciprocating type of IC engine or internal combustion engines, we must know the sum of the basic parts or the, the major parts in the IC engine and those are nothing but it is cylinder, piston, connecting rod and crank. So these are the basic elements of the internal combustion engine or reciprocating type of internal combustion engine. Now coming to the terms associated with the reciprocating type of internal combustion engine, we have bore, stroke, then top dead center which is also called as TDC, then bottom dead center which is also called as BDC, then we, next term we have the swept volume, then clearance volume, total volume and the compression ratio. So these are the basic terms we are having for the reciprocating type of internal combustion engine. So to understand the operation of the reciprocating type of internal combustion engine or to calculate the sum of the important parameter related to the reciprocating type of internal combustion engine, we should aware of these terms or we should know these basic terms. So let's try to understand these basic terms associated with the reciprocating type of internal combustion engine. So the first term we have is bore. So what exactly the bore means? So bore is nothing but it is a nominal internal diameter of the engine cylinder. It is a nominal internal diameter of the engine cylinder. So inside which the piston reciprocate. So after bore, we have the next term which is called as top dead center. So what it is top dead center? So it is nothing but when the piston is at extreme top of the cylinder, then it is called as top dead center. Means beyond this position, now the piston is not able to travel. So that is called as top dead center. The next term we have the bottom dead center. So what it is bottom dead center? When the piston is at extreme bottom position, then it is called as the bottom dead center. So these are the two very important term, top dead center and bottom dead center. So this top dead center is also called as TDC and bottom dead center is also called as BDC. So in relation with this top dead center and the bottom dead center, we are having the next term which is called as the stroke, which is called as the stroke. So the stroke is nothing but it is a movement of the piston from the top dead center to the bottom dead center or we can say it is a movement of the piston from the bottom dead center to the top dead center. So it is called as stroke of the IC engine or stroke of the reciprocating type of IC engine. The next term we have is clearance volume. We have the clearance volume. So what is the meaning of clearance volume? So clearance volume is nothing but it is the volume of the engine cylinder or inside the engine cylinder when the piston is, is at its topmost position. Or we can say when the piston is at top position or at TDC, whatever the volume remains above the piston, that volume is called as clearance volume. This volume is called as clearance volume. The next term we have the swept volume. Next term we have the swept volume. So what is the meaning of the swept volume? So this swept volume is nothing but it is a volume swept by the piston when it travels from the BDC to TDC or TDC to BDC. 
and this we can calculate by cross sectional area of the cylinder into the height of the cylinder so it is the cross section area we take it as pi by 4 d square where d stands for a piston diameter or the bore diameter we can take so pi by 4 d square into l so this is the swept volume now the next term we have the compression ratio so what exactly the compression ratio is that we will understand so this is a very important term related to the reciprocating type of the internal combustion engine so whenever we go for the calculation of the thermal efficiency of this reciprocating type of internal combustion engine so from that perspective we should know what exactly the compression ratio is so compression ratio is nothing but it is the ratio of the maximum volume of the uh, cylinder to the minimum volume of the cylinder so how we can define this maximum volume inside the cylinder and minimum volume inside the cylinder so this maximum volume of the cylinder is nothing but it is the summation of the sweat volume plus clearance volume so it will give you the maximum volume inside the engine cylinder and how we can get the minimum volume inside the cylinder so we know that when the piston is at top dead center we are having a very small volume above the piston head or above the top of the piston and that volume is called as clearance volume so the minimum volume inside the engine cylinder is nothing but it is equal to the clearance volume of the cylinder the clearance volume of the cylinder so these are the basic terms associated with the reciprocating type of internal combustion engine.